welcome to Hair of the Rabbit podcast. We explore everything that is rabbit. We look at different rabbit breeds, history, superstition, pop culture, news, and more. I would like to thank you for joining me today, your host, Jeff Hittinger. I'm not an expert. I'm just curious about learning more about rabbits, just like you. Was a story without a campfire in the background. A folktale is a story originated in popular culture, typically passed on by word of mouth. In many tales, Rabbit is a trickster character in folktales of African, African American, and Native American culture. Rabbit is the consummate trickster who typically matches wits with a character whom he tries to best. Now we're going to cover a Native American tale of the rabbit. Now remember, in Native American folklore, the rabbit is usually a trickster. This is titled, Why the Possum's Tale is Bear. This is retold by Barbara Singing Woman Warren. Possum once had a very long, bushy tail. He was so proud of it that he combed it out every morning, and he always sang about it at the dances. Rabbit used to have a long, bushy tail as well, but he lost his in the frozen lake. Rabbit was very jealous of Possum's tail, so he decided to play a trick on Possum. The great council meeting and dance was to be held. All the animals were invited to attend. It was Rabbit's job to spread the news. Passing Possum's place, he started to ask Possum if he intended to come to the dance. Possum said, I'll go if I have a special seat because I have such a handsome tail, I ought to sit where everyone can see me. Rabbit said that he would definitely see to it and he would also send someone to comb and dress Possum's tail for the dance. This pleased Possum very much, and he said he would be there. Rabbit went straight away to the Cricket, who was an expert hair cutter. He is known by the Cherokee as the Barber. Rabbit told Cricket to go the very next morning and attend to Possum's tail for the dance. Rabbit told Cricket exactly how he wanted Possum's tail fixed, and then Rabbit went on about his mischief. Bright and early the next morning, Cricket went to the Possum's place. He said he, had come, he said he had come to get Possum ready for the dance. So Possum stretched himself out on the floor and shut his eyes while Cricket dressed his tail. Cricket combed out the tail and began to wrap a red string all around it to keep the fur smooth until that night. But as he wound the string around Possum's tail, Cricket was clipping off the hair close to the roots and Possum never knew it. When it was time for the dance that night, Possum went to the townhouse where the dance was to be held. Just as Rabbit had promised, the very best seat was saved for Possum. Then Possum sat down and waved for his turn to dance. When his turn came, he loosened the red string from his tail and stepped into the middle of the dance circle. The drummers began to drum and Possum began to sing. As he danced around the circle, he sang, See my beautiful tail. Everyone shouted and he danced around the circle again and sang, See what a fine color it has. The animal shouted again and he danced around another time singing, See how it sweeps the ground. The animal shouted louder than ever and Possum was delighted. He danced around again and sang, See how fine the fur is. Everybody was laughing so long and so loud that Possum stopped to see what was the matter. He looked around at the circle of animals and they were all pointing and laughing at him. Then he looked down at his beautiful tail. There wasn't a hair left on it. It was completely bare. Possum was so upset and embarrassed that he fell on the ground in a dead faint. He had a slight grin upon his face, as possums do to this very day when they're taken by surprise. Now this was adapted from the history, myths, and sacred formulas of the Cherokee by James Mooney. If you would like to email me, reach out at hairoftherabbit at gmail.com or you can visit the website at hairoftherabbit Dot com. If you would like to support the podcast and keep the lights on, you can support us whenever you use Amazon through the link at the website on the support the podcast page. This will not cost you anything extra and I cannot see who purchased what. You can also become a Fluffle fan supporter by donating through Patreon. And again, there's a link at the hair of the rabbit podcast.com.